Hello, good morning and welcome to Showbiz here on The Aim Show. I'm at Peter Civili. Now, the biggest urban music beach festival in Europe came to Ghana and boy, oh boy, was it a sight to behold. December 27th to 30th, Afro Nation was the place to be. Not only was it the talk of time, but it topped the Twitter trends. On January 21, 2020, Afro Nation made its way on to the Twitter trends as government signed a five-year deal for the concert to be hosted annually in the country. Uh, Rudy Kwache is executive officer of Rave Media Group, the local partners of Afro Nation and executive producer of Afro Nation. And he's been telling me how the country will benefit from this five-year deal. The, the choice of Ghana was obviously care, like carefully deliberated upon. Um, we chose Ghana to be the, first, the hub because of obviously, you know, the timing was right. The conditions were right for what we wanted to achieve. And we found a pristine beach that could house the whole thing. Because I think um, one of the biggest things about your return and is, is reverberating everywhere I've been um, on the continent is the fact that it's open as up as a tourism destination. It cemented, it cemented our, our legend as a place to come for you know exciting urban lifestyle, cultural exposition and, and immersion. And for that, for that reason alone, it made sense for us to actually plan ourselves here. And now, benefits to the country, benefits we can point to, short term, short term and long term. Okay, so let, let's start with even what went on in December. What you saw was a 99% Ghana production. We didn't import anything except maybe the inflatables, which came, which we didn't manufacture. But even that, for six months, I was actually coming the length and bread looking for artists to build me a life size of that. I didn't find it. That's where we actually went to the, the easier way of the inflatables. But look at all the suppliers, the venue, all the trade, all the uh, travel for airports. I mean, in December, uh, Lagos alone, there were seven extra flights created by one of the airlines. Which And, and even that, still people didn't get to actually attend, attend or even enter Ghana during that period. So impact short term obviously you can see there's hotels there's food vendors there's the suppliers there are logistic providers there are car rentals all of those people have a direct hit from even us mm. and from a long-term perspective look it's ten thousand or so people circa that entered ghana because of our nation some exciting stuff there now high life and afrobeats artist sister fia says Ghanaian should rather focus on her musical career than complaining about her style of dressing. Speaking on Daybreak Hits with Andy Dosti, the songstress said she's excelling in the industry because she's talented and added she won't be forced to dress like anybody else. Like somebody else. This is me. I have my right to pick up anything to wear. Yeah. You understand? So I don't know. I, sometimes I think about it. I was like, how do you Ghanaians expect me to dress? Like, I can't just be like you. He's listened to my music before, but then when he saw my personality or the person that people used to think I am, he was like, but this girl, she's really, really good. But people are focusing on your, I mean, your personality. They're not focusing on your talent. But then I think this is who you are. So you have to just do it. And don't you think maybe um, some, something can be done so that at least it will it, it, throw the spotlight on the talent, which I think... I you, think you, I have hit so songs good. okay. I think so I'm okay. I'm doing, I have gotten to some... I, I can do better, of course. I'm not going to deny the fact I can do better. But then I can't change who I am. That's basically it. Mm. I just can't change who I am. Right. I, it's, you see, I'm dressed... It's not everywhere that I go that I dress seductively or whatever the word they use. I dress decently. Sometimes I dress... Wow, it's, it's, it's just... Yeah, well, talk about dressing, we're in black and white today. Why? Yeah, we kind of look like twins. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm we're, saying? We're vibing together. We're vibing morning. together. Yeah, it's just the way we want to look. Y you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm looking up to you. <laughs> That's why. I'm just... Oh. I spy you before you get out of the house, and I'm like, today I want to look like her. Yeah. Are you all right, though? See you, see me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You're back on uh, Interactive later this morning. Yes, at 11. So do join me with all your comments on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll join you on TV. Definitely. Now, here's what you can also get in touch uh, with the AM show, uh, Dear AM, which is our Relationship Friday segment. Anything that you're going through in your relationship, listen, you don't want to uh, handle it all by yourself. Sometimes you need to talk to someone. Uh, so write to us. Let's all think through the issues together. Dear AM, 
info at myjawline.com if you've got any relationship issues at all. Kindly write to us. Info, that's the email address, info at myjoyonline.com. We could be discussing your issue Friday here on the show. And on that note, Maps. That's how we end the AM show. See you next time, actually tomorrow, yep. for another three hours of compelling content here on your Joy News channel, on DST channel 41, Girl TV channel 144. I'm Apita CBD. My name is Mama Vyo Swabwaji. On behalf of our, our boys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.